Hi, it's a beautiful day in Cota de Casa. I'm at the bridge by our stream. And today we're going to be looking for a little blue damselfly that we know as a vivid dancer. And here we go. We got one right here. There he is. This is our vivid dancer, or Argia vivida. He is a species of damselfly. Now, a damselfly is not a dragonfly, although they come from the same order of Odonata. They separate into different suborders and different families. Now, these damselflies are smaller and very twig-like, where dragonfly is much fatter. Also, in resting, the damselflies, they fold their wings upwards like this one, well, the dragonflies, they lay them flat like this neon skimmer here. Our vivid dancer is mostly found in ponds, springs, riparian areas of the western United States and British Columbia and across diverse temperatures due to their adaptation to thermal regulation. Now, the vivid dancer is also the state insect of Nevada. These guys, they vary in color but the males are typically associated with this bright blue coloration and silvery wings. He has a solid black stripe on the top of his thorax and a series of black stripes down his abdomen. Now next to the stripes on his abdomen, there's also little black diamond shaped markings. The females, like this one here, they're not blue, they're just simply tan or gray. Now these insects, they have three primary parts. We have his head, of course. Then next we have a thorax. And then following the thorax is, of course, his abdomen that extends all the way down. There's 10 different segments to his abdomen. And you can tell they're separated by the black stripes mostly until you get to the little blue section at the end, which is really three different segments put together. The vivid dancer's primary diet, it consists of flying insects like flies and moths, and they're also great at controlling for mosquitoes. So the vivid dancers, they mate in both the mornings and the afternoons. So the male, he sets up his territory by perching at a choice breeding spot by the waterside, like a leaf or a little plant or a stick, mostly in direct sunlight to show off his very pretty blue color. Now after the male and the female get together, they'll fly up here or a similar area alongside the creek or the stream. And the male will lock the end of his abdomen to a little section at the base of the female's head. And then she'll wrap her abdomen underneath her all the way up to the bottom of the male's head. And this forms a little heart formation. And hence it's even called a heart formation. Now they'll stay together while they mate and then they will fly together locked in place as a female lays her eggs underwater on little plants underwater. All right so let's say goodbye to our little blue vivid dancer damselfly. I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.